Justin Timberlake and his NSYNC boys just got back together for a surprise reunion. <laughs> Thrilling fans from Chrissy Teigen to the Backstreet Boys' AJ McLean. I was there. The screams were unlike anything decibel-wise. I wish to God I had earplugs in in that moment. It was like we rose from, from the, the dead. dead. Like, like, no, what dude. Is it? Because it literally was a complete surprise. I mean, nobody really had no. no clue, which I think was really cool about it. I think it opened up, I think, all of our eyes to go, maybe we should do something. I mean, again, the fans are there for us, and we can't thank them enough. It's crazy that they've been with you us You can see it on long. your faces, honestly, the oh, joy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were all happy. Like, Chris, Chris couldn't Y'all missed still. it. Oh, no, you guys could see it on your faces. It was fun. like, yeah, oh, was, we missed this. It was you know? one of those things where it was like, you know what, this is, this is you know, we, I miss my brothers, you know, miss, miss it's performing a moment. and stuff. So it was fun. Yeah. It's very special. We're trying to figure out and have a conversation to see if we're going to do something. Obviously, Justin just released his new album, of course. He's going to be on tour. So I think after or during when he does his tour, I think we're going to sit down, hopefully, hopefully, sit down, have a conversation and go, okay, what does this look like? Do we, are we going to do music? Are we going to do an album? Do we do a tour? Or are we going to do nothing? What exactly are we going to do? Can we do it? And is it, is it, is it feasible for everybody? Because again, everybody has their own life now. So it's a little bit difficult to really get back on that horse. But you want to do it? I mean, I'd love to, yeah. I mean, you see me do the thing with Justin. So it's always funny because people are like, oh, you're like at his beck and call. I'm like, no. I said, there's many times that we've had conversations where there were things that we did decline because it just wasn't right. People weren't ready. We weren't there or people weren't in town that were working. So it's one of those things where if the timing's right and things are, the stars and the moons are aligned, mm -hmm. something will happen. Now, 90s boy band fans better hold on. AJ and Joey Fatone are bringing NSYNC and Backstreet Boys fans together for their A Legendary Night Tour. And the fans are absolutely loving it. Even taking a play out of the Swifties book, making friendship bracelets for the boys. This is all because of Taylor, yeah. period. Like yeah. that's what started this okay. whole revolution. Thanks, Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> I have to ask, because Travis Kelsey was on that show. Yes. Um, Nicest guy in the world. No. Are, are you all Swifties? I mean, well, I, well, well I'm, I, a, I'm, I'm, I'm a Kelsey. You're Kelsey. I'm I have Kelsey. an 11-year-old and 7-year-old well. well, daughter, <laughs> so yes. Well, crazy with Kelsey, I know him. Oddly enough, he even came up to me. He's like, oh, hey, boy, they're friends of his. A buddy of mine I've known for many years. They've been very close friends with, 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 with Travis and the family for many years because they're you know, in Ohio and stuff. So I never really met him. It was the first time I ever met him, but he... I guess knew about me, so it's kind of funny. Yeah. He's a he's big fan. I'm it's I'm I think he's, he's a both. Yeah, I mean, no, he, he is definitely both. Yeah. yeah he, I, mean, I think he felt bad because I think she was working. He's like, uh, what do I do? Do I go, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah. gonna go see Justin and and, and sync, or do I go see Taylor? It's super nice. You made the guy. right choice. It's okay. We, Good we man. know you're gonna see Taylor all the time, but yeah. Thanks, Travis. Y'all are literally doing the Lord's work. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way. Come in, to the show it. We have the Ten Commandments of boy band yes. uh, literature, basically. Yes, we do. Yeah. Whose idea was it for this tour? My crazy idea. I was like, hey, man, I wanted this 90s kind of idea. We did the show together. And we're like, this is freaking great. So we were like, okay, we're on to something. Not just for the fans, but it's for other people, too. Like, everybody can enjoy it. And at the show, you can expect... We sing each other's songs. We sing other songs from the 80s and the 90s. I've done She's Like the Wind from, uh, from Dirty Dancing. So random stuff like that. It's a blast. We are truly doing this for the fans. This is all for the fans. Because we could just be chilling at home with our families, yeah, doing whatever. Yeah. We're sacrificing being away from our families to be with these amazing fans of both bands. Um, and just bringing you almost two hours of just nonstop fun, party, Forget about what you're dealing with in your everyday life and just come and just have a good freaking time. And this tour is the perfect opportunity for AJ to debut his new solo work. AJ is shedding AJ. He's going by Alex for his new solo project. And his new music was fueled as he found himself amid his own mental health struggles. I decided to go do a little soul searching and I did a, a 10 week stint in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, I went to an amazing treatment center. One of the biggest things that I took from that experience was uh, finding my true authentic self, learning that AJ is a persona. He doesn't define me as who I really am. Um, and I've kind of stifled myself with that character for 30 years, kind of lost sight of who I was. And so the Alex era, if you will, is Everything I'm doing now solo, everything is under the name Alexander James. 
I'm reintroducing myself to the world as Alex um, and being my true authentic self.